Well, this is something we have, we talk about quite a lot, right? The, the other thing about life, life has one mm. genuine purpose, which is mm. death, mm. right? You are born and then you live however mm. long it is, right? So mm. for, for, for us human number mm. being type mm. people, it's, uh, you know, we're meant to be the sort of three score and 10, that's mm. 70 to those that haven't played in that world, mm. um, years, which is a fairly mm. decent average, pretty much. And then you got a mayfly, or you've got a day or so, or a butterfly who's got a day or so. And mm. for them, we go, it's a short life, but actually for them, it's a perfectly long life. It's exactly what they do within that lifespan of that cycle. Mm. So, you at the moment are dealing with the other end and yes. it's quite an interesting thing really it's yes, fascinating yes. just hearing your stories yes. i thought maybe i don't know if you want to share it with with others yeah, um, my my father is is critically at the moment and i spend a lot of time with him on his deathbed really um helping him through the the dying process and it's been a great lesson to me mm. uh, and a very great privilege yeah. to to be able to do that, uh, helping somebody to die well. Yeah. Now, we're in this condemned building here, and I was sitting outside earlier, and my coffee, and buildings around here are derelict, and you know, they're in a state of decay, mm. and they'll soon be pulled down, and something, and something else will yeah. replace it. Yeah. You know, it's a, we're coming out winter and it's still very cold out there yeah. early february but the, the buds are already on already there yeah the trees and the snow drops it, it it never really stops life never stops no the, the, the cycle always continues yeah but the forms come and go and that is the nature of mm. forms if we were buddhas and we were free of attachment then that inevitability of the coming and going of form would, would not cause us any suffering. No. The problem comes is with our attachments, mm. and clinging on to the material, clinging on to the impermanent and, uh, and hoping that it is mm. impermanent. And the fear that there's a fear that, that is in, it's not even, I don't know if it's a natural fear always, mm. because it's just ingrained you know yes, it's, it's yes. ingrained now, i'm yes. not suggesting anyone should be looking forward to dying yes, but at the same time yes. you might as well i mean well, don't try and rush it it's, it's, don't try and rush it it will come so yes, don't look forward yes, to anything yes. but it will come and the, the acceptance of it means that, it, that again each moment is even more precious yes, and that's why it's yes. so important to actually notice each moment yeah. but just tell only because i know you know that it's quite interesting because of course they're trying to keep him alive yes, um, and, yes. and obviously as you your brother and, and family around and, and not everybody feels exactly the same so just just, just what, what, what's, what's happening well, there? It's, it's just observing the medical system and how it works and you know, being the nurses there they're just simply beautiful beautiful people mm. and beautiful souls I'm not, I'm not criticizing them in any way no. uh, but they're working to a, a, a model mm. that doesn't see anything other than life as being a physical form mm. he, uh, my, my, my dear old is 86 you know his, his body is worn out his heart's worn out he's worn out mm. yet they brought him back to life three times yeah well, uh, why yeah why because they can't let go yeah they can't they can't let go of that that physical existence because they're, they're but then there's quite an interesting thing here as well because mm. you and, and your family and mm. uh, and he are yes. like almost quite happy for this to just be as it is yes but so even though it's not their relative or anything yes. and i know you know i know yes. that it's actually private treatment so actually if they let him go they're, they're a few quid down mate yes. so it's not going to work out as you said <laughs> um, but um but Actually, there is still this weird thing. Yes, that yes. It goes beyond that, yes, right? So joking yes. beyond that, and and I, I feel like we might yes. all be a little bit guilty of it somehow. You yeah. know, yeah. where you do go, right? I'm going to do something now. Yes. Because would, how would you feel if you went? 
okay, I'm just going to watch them die. But if you know, as you say, at this age yeah. with that body, yes. then that's yes. actually the right response. Yes, absolutely. Right. But, but it's very hard. It's a bit like, it's like trying not to flinch when somebody, if you say, don't flinch, and I go punching towards yes. your face, it's very hard because yes. yes. your natural instinct is to do this. Yes, yes. And it is natural at that point. You yes. Know? yes, Protect, yes. I guess. Yes. So, but they don't, they don't seem to understand, the, well, the model doesn't understand the, the, the spiritual aspect to life. Right. You know, at 86, you don't want to be kept alive. No. You want to be able to die well. And and dying well and keeping somebody alive are very different things. Yeah. And when the body reaches that, that point of eternal decline, then then what is the, the point of keeping that body alive? The focus needs to go on dying well. And, yeah. And that's spiritual. 